Hey guys, today we are doing the reading session. We are gonna read the chapter timeline of third chapter. Chapter eight timeline. What are we going to learn in the chapter? It's arranging events before and after, past, present, and future. History and historian. timeline let's kick start the chapter what time do you do these activities write the name of each activity in the space given below now arrange the years from the earliest year to the latest year now look at the diagram given below birth of christ bc ad it's the birth of christ when it is before it is before and before birth of christ and that is after the peace the timeline looks like a number line the timeline is divided into two parts if you see the diagram the center is taken as the birth of jesus christ it is marked as the year 0 the time before the birth of jesus christ is called bc that is before christ Therefore, the very first year before the birth of Christ is written as one B.C. In B.C., the years are counted backwards. For example, the events happening in hundred B.C. will come after the events that happened. in 150 bc this is shown in the timeline in the following manner before the time after the birth of jesus is known as ad meaning anno domini meaning in the year of our lord so the first year just after christ's birth is written as 1 in since zero years does not exist thus on the timeline the year 1 ad follows the year 1 bc in ad the years are counted forward for example the events that happened in 150 ad will come after the events that happened in 100 ad this is known in a uh, timeline in the following manner birth of christ 100 ad 150 ad after 1947 ad now check your progress what helps us draw a complete picture of history what is the meaning of anno domini use of ce and bce nowadays we also use the terms ce christian era or common era and bce before christian era or before common era in place of ad and bc let's make it clearer with a few examples suppose 
the Kalinga War began in 261 BC. This means the war started 261 years before the birth of Jesus Christ. India secured independence in 1947 CE. This means India got independence 1947 years after the birth of Christ. Did you know when the correct date of event is unknown? Then the term circa is used along with the date. For example, C for circa 2400 BCE. Circa is a Latin means approximately. Activity. Arrange the following events on a timeline. 